good morning so it is now 9 30 um we've had our we've gotten up gotten the shower gotten dressed um and then i've already um made breakfast had that um and while i was doing that i was sitting there reading my emails so now that i'm doing my email i do have a meeting at 10 so i'm preparing for that i did have to restart my computer because we had some more things that we um there were some things i needed to be uploaded onto my laptop so i had to restart and then um so now that's what i'm doing right now um, we don't have too much of a busy day today. Um, like I said, I literally have like uh, two meetings. I have one at 10 and then I have another one that's like at 1, but that is optional. So we won't be going to that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and opt out of that one. Um, that's something you're going to definitely learn as well is that sometimes you don't always have to go to meetings. Uh, you can find out whether or not if it's something that is actually required or mandatory for you to go. If not, you can actually opt out of that and then use that time for development. Um, I do have quite a few tickets, quite a few backlogs that I have to finish up to, uh, for today. So I just thought that I would just show you what a typical day in a life as a data analyst is like. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish reading the rest of these emails and then um, I will then get ready and start preparing for this meeting at 10. So let's get right into it. really good um, there was a lot of information that we needed um, so like I said um, so for this meeting it was basically um, a gathering of a requirement so we had to meet with the actual business line to get more or our contact person to get more information about what they wanted to see um, in the actual report that they put in the request that they put in um, and so it's just really about asking more detailed questions and so this will be the part where you just pretty much have to ask additional questions to get to find out exactly what it is that they want and so in this case we were just asking like how often would you like the report um, um, would you like it on an Excel would you do you like want a dashboard Excel? or do you just want a dashboard report, report? Um, how often um, do you how want it? Do you what additional colors would you like? We'd be okay with these type of slicers and that kind of thing. What other options would you like? How far back do you want the data to go? And all of that information. So you, it's just, it's just really making sure that you ask enough the right questions in order for you to be able to do your job. Now that does not mean that as you're developing, you cannot come back and ask additional questions, but you want to make sure that you come up with some really good questions before you go, so that way you can get at least a vast majority if not all of it so that way you can take care of your report so now I'm just about to go ahead and work on another ticket that I currently have um, that I need to I want to try to finish it by tomorrow um, so I need to get working on it and then try to get that done by tomorrow so let's go ahead and start to do a little bit of coding and in the background the TV will be on time to do a little work guys editing Mika here I'm clearly editing this video as we speak <laughs> so as you can see while I'm in my zone working on code and all of that I thought I would come on here and drop a little nugget once you become a data analyst please do not think for one minute that your constant learning and critiquing your skills comes to a halt because you made it no nah, not at all 
you need to constantly making sure that you stay up to date with all of the constant changes that happens within IT. But most importantly, you want to make sure that you are crafting and honing in on your skills. And that's where today's sponsor comes into play, Brilliant. Brilliant helps you get smarter every day with thousands of interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis, and AI. One thing I love is how hands-on it is. You're not just passively watching, you're actually solving problems. That kind of interactive learning sticks with you, especially in tech. If you're diving into data analysis like me, Brilliant has courses that walks you through concepts like data visualizations, which is something you definitely need, algorithms, regression models, and more step-by-step, step, and it's easy to follow, no matter your level. The best part, you can learn anywhere. I've squeezed in a lesson between meetings or while chilling at the park. It makes learning feel doable, even with a busy schedule. So guys, there is no excuses. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for 30 days, head to brilliant.org slash house called Dewberry2, or you can scan the QR code on the screen, or you can click in the link in the description box below. Plus, please do not think for one second that I'm gonna allow you to leave here empty-handed. You will get 20% off an annual premium subscription if you sign up. So go ahead and head on over to Brilliant and give it a try. And I wanna thank Brilliant for sponsoring today's video. Now. Let's head back into the day in the life. What I'm working on right now is I just finished the coding part of the actual of the report. So what I ended up doing after I finished writing the query, so I needed to send her some samples to see whether or not the data that I pulled is actually on the right track or if it was right, if it's something she was looking for. So what I ended up doing was pretty much um, created a pivot table and I basically put it into, um, put the, I put the information into a pivot table and then I basically created the pivot table based on how she wanted to see it. And then I sent her a sample and I just sent it to her and asked her, is this is what you're looking for and X, Y, and Z. Um, once she confirmed that um, it is what she was looking for, she also stated that she likes the idea of having the opportunity to pick more than one date and things like that. So now that it is what she's looking for, now I'm ready to go ahead and create the Power BI report. So I'm about to create the Power BI report. And so that way I will, I don't have to really do a whole lot of filtering inside of my query because I'm going to write a lot of, um, I'm going to allow the filters to do that inside of my Power BI report. Um, so I'm going to do that. I got to create a couple of DAX, a couple of um, um, calculations and a couple of measures inside of my Power BI report. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's what I'm working on right now. I should be able to finish this in, uh, hopefully I can create this report maybe in the next 30 minutes. And then I will also um, make it a little bit more visually appealing. But right now, just building out the report is what I'm getting ready to do. So that's what I'm going to work on right now. Okay, so it is... 11.53, it's almost noon. Um, on the, um, I've gotten the Power BI uh, report. What I did was, is I, since she's gonna be pulling this report every day, I decided to go ahead and allow the source to be our, um, our cloud database for her to be able to pull it. Um, so I just pretty much took the query and imported it um, as the source inside of my Power BI report. Um, I went ahead and just created like a basic table so far. So, so far I have completed the query. Um, she already, um, I completed the query, sent her the sample, she approved the sample. So now I have already um, started creating the, the report. We've already gotten all of the calculated columns and the measures in there. Um, so that'll be it for today. Um, I do have another ticket that I need to work on. That is something else that you guys have to learn to do is you have to, when you have more than one ticket, which in the, in most cases you will, you're going to have to learn to, um, you're going to have to learn to multitask or I'm not going to say multitask, but you're going to have to learn how to, um, prioritize your day and work on multiple tickets throughout your day. You cannot focus your entire day on one ticket, um, because you'll never get anything done. So you kind of have to you're gonna to have to put a little time here and a little time there and a little time here. So that's what you're gonna to have to do. And so tomorrow we'll work on the filters and that's what we'll do tomorrow. So right now we're gonna to go to lunch and then when I get back, I have another report that I need to work on. Um, it is a, um, no, 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 I have a month in report that I need to complete. Um, this is the beginning of the month, it's actually due today. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the month in report so I can get that finished before three o'clock. So. That is the remainder of our day. So right now, for right now, since it's um, about to be noon, let's go ahead and get some lunch.
so good. Okay, so my day is over. Yes, it is. Um, well, my work day is over. So what I'm about to do is actually finna take my dog for a walk. I'm gonna go do that. Um, so I'm just gonna let him walk around the park, get a little fresh air. He's been cooped up in the house all day. So that's pretty much it. And when I went back to, when I came back from lunch, um, I just finished up the month end report. Well, I finished them up, but I started on the month end reports. I will get those finished and distributed out, distributed out tomorrow. Um, so that's pretty much all that I worked on for the rest of the evening. Um, <laughs>